Hi, I thought before I sign off for the day, I'd read you a manifesting story from one of the viewers. It's from Haz. Haz says, I just wanted to tell you something that happened to me last summer. I spent my summer vacations in Corsica. The day I was supposed to leave and just as I was about to lock my door, I realized that my wallet was missing and so it was impossible for me to leave. I searched for it all over the place knowing that there wasn't many places where it could be. I thought about the last time I used it and I realized it had been two days before on the Friday afternoon when I went to the supermarket to buy some food. So I began sweating and thinking the first thing to do was to cancel my visa card and the other cards I had in that wallet would have to be redone when I came back from the vacation. I called the number and they told me that I would have to wait for a week before my new visa would be sent. I didn't have any cash on me. I was devastated, wondering what had happened. Did I leave it in the supermarket? Was I robbed? It was a big mystery. I called my family and told them about what was happening. This would probably delay my vacation. All I could do was wait for the next day to call the supermarket and hopefully have my wallet back. Anyway, I was upset, but somehow I remembered one YouTube show and thought everything is always working out for me. I was sad, but I was telling myself there's no need to worry now. There's nothing that you can't you can do about it. I refuse to have bad thoughts about the fact that I only cancelled my visa two days after I had lost my wallet and no need crying on the lost ticket. The next morning I called the supermarket and they didn't have it. I decided to leave anyway without waiting for my visa. I went on the internet to look for travel tickets and the prices had gone up of course. Very disturbing. What was disturbing also was that my family wasn't very supportive and they were asking stupid questions and giving me stupid advice. <laughs> I told them so and said it's always easy to figure things out when it's done. To make a long story short I managed to get a cheaper ticket using my imagination and changing my usual arrival point so that cheered me up. I was to leave on the Wednesday so I decided to go to the bank on that morning and get some cash. On Wednesday morning at 1.20 a.m. someone rang the bell to my apartment. That woke me up. My neighbor had rented his flat for the summer so I imagine it was his new guest who didn't have the key or something. This bell ringing was annoying but I didn't get up. After a short while somebody knocked at my door. I got up and looked who it was and I could see a woman in her pajamas with her with my red wallet in her hands. I opened the door and she asked for my identity and told me that she had found the wallet at the gate downstairs. I thanked her and took it back. I was flabbergasted, not understanding the situation except for the money, less than 10 euro. All the cards were in it, even two train tickets that I used for work. I couldn't understand the situation and was very grateful. It would have been a chore to redo all the cards what a relief. The next day I was getting ready to go to the bank to get some cash. I opened my mailbox and guess what? My new Visa card was already there. That was amazing because I reported the loss on the Sunday evening and the guy told me it would take a whole week to have it done and there we were only two days after. I wanted to share this story because I clearly remember thinking about the video and thinking everything works out for me. And also what amazes me is the almost miraculous way I was given my wallet back. Nowhere on those cards was there an address. I found a cheap ticket to travel and my visa was sent way earlier than announced. It's true. <clears throat> you don't need to know how things can turn out. You just have to have that feeling in your guts. Knowing that there's no need crying on spilt milk, as you say in English. I like that. No feeling in your guts. It's true, it is in your guts. So, thanks for your inspiring shows. No worries. Oh, it's Ida, not Has. Has was in your, Has must be the surname. So, thank you, darling. That is a really, really lovely, lovely story. I'm wrapped that you sent it. And, yeah, I'm glad you were inspired to send it after you saw the story about the stolen car. So, yeah. That's lovely, 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 lovely. So, lots of love.
and I will see you in the next you know what, you know where.